Hi you guys, it's Heavy Dobby. I am not going to stop this thing for anything, I swear. I have done a lot of takes and then I just got a phone call, so I'm starting one more time. One last time. I am coming to you on March 6th of 2014. I am going to be venturing off on doing another round, which I'm starting tomorrow, it will be called Free to, me, Free to Be Me. Um, my last injection weight was one year ago, February 25th, and I was 235.2. I stabilized at 240. Um, I tend to use that weight more than I do my LIW because of glycogen, you know, depletion in the liver, and you're going to have some weight gain anyway, and that's pretty much the weight that you're going to stabilize at. So I, um, I call my stabilized weight 240. Um, the next month, my husband and I went out on our, we went on a trip to Vegas for our second honeymoon. We went to Vegas in Utah, actually. And um, I left at 240 and returned at 243. And within a day or two, the three pounds was off. It was more traveling weight. And so I stayed there for a little while and finished up the school year. And then the whole summer, I was on a very strict protocol for um, Candida Cleanse. And it prevented me from being on uh, an HCG round. Uh, and so that was kind of a wash for me. Um, but it was, it was a good thing. So then school started and then the holidays. And here we are. Um, the holidays were tough. Um, you know, not in circumstance, but I just made some really, really poor choices. And, um, causing my blood sugars to be the worst part of it. Just really wrecking havoc. So I have a cousin who, um, who wants to eat better and so she and I agreed that on January 1st we would cut out all sugars and starches and we did that we started January 1st and with the exception of one Oreo and here it is the month of March I have had no sugars and no starches yay me huge huge accomplishment um, I am so settled into a p3 lifestyle you wouldn't even believe um, I no longer crave sugars. I choose not to have sugars. I'm not, I mean, bread doesn't call my name and I'm a gal that loves bread. If you laid out a banana split and all those food porn items and hot bread and butter, that's where I would go. And I literally do not have a craving, desire, fantasy about any kind of a wheat product or bread product at all. So... I, you know, yay. Um, February 13th, I decided to jump on the keto adaptation wagon. And not only did I not do sugars and starches, but I started doing a high percentage of fats to carbohydrates and protein. So I have aimed for 70 to 80% fat and 20, 15 to 20 protein and very low carbohydrate um, and I feel like I've been rather successful on that my calories have been higher than they would be um, for weight loss but because I'm a diabetic those of you who are trying keto adaptation don't want to listen to me because um, keto adaptation also um, depends on blood sugar levels and mine are not down to normal even yet so here I am, um, I told you my last weight, which was last March when we went to Vegas, was 240, then I went up to 243 and then back down. Today, I am 255.5. So what have I gained? 15 pounds. Let's just call it 15 pounds. And I have seen the scale at 255 almost the entire 
year of 2014 thus far. I am not kidding you. There may be a day where it'll go up at two pounds and it always goes back to 255. I cannot make it budge. I have not tried making it budge, but I was hoping that without having sugars and starches and then adding the keto adaptation that I would have some weight loss. Not even. I was hoping that, you know, by the time I got on here today that I was going to be able to tell you that I was at my stabilized weight of 240. It, you know, two months, 15 pounds, it could have happened. But it didn't. And it's not, please don't, if you are doing keto, don't, don't freak out because of me. Because my blood sugars are half of what they were in January, but they're still too high. So if that gives you any indication. So here I am. It's the day before I venture out on my free to be me round. My blood sugars are not quite down where I want them to be. They're better, but they're definitely not at a weight loss um, potential. So it's going to be interesting to see how this works because I am planning on doing very low calorie and um, that would be low fat. Will I add in coconut products? Probably. I have on my last couple of rounds. I don't tend to go pop, but I honestly don't know at this point what I will be doing. I'm going to, um, except for the fact I think I'm going to stay pretty pop, perfectly on protocol, um, the first week. Because that is a big and exciting time. I won't be doing fruits, I know that for sure right now, because fruits affect me with a 30 carbohydrate apple, um, my blood sugars would not ever settle back down. So I will not be doing any bread, wheat, or fruit. Um, at some point, if I am having a sweet craving, fruit right now tastes to me like pure sugar. So what I'll do is maybe have a slice of apple. If my husband's having an apple and you know, I'll give myself permission to have fruit. So when I'm perfectly on protocol, it's with strict limitations on that. Um, I tend to lose, I'll say it right now and we'll see what happens. I tend to lose about 11 pounds the first week and about five and a half, five, five and a half the second and about zero the third. So we're going to take this one week at a time. Um, what am I loading on? I'm clean loading. I will have bacon and eggs. I will enhance the eggs with butter, sour cream to make them fattier. I will have pork rinds and guacamole. I will have mac nuts and I will have some of my sugar-free chocolate. Um, but you know what? Honest to goodness with this keto adaptation, I will tell you that I had my blood tested for keto um, nutrition uh, at Neely, Indigo Neely's with her, her um, tester, not the urine sticks, but the blood sticks. And I am at a 2.0, and if you're below 0 0.5, so a half a point, if you're below that, then you're not keto ad adapted, but at a 2, you're at perfect considered a perfect number for health benefits and also for weight loss. So I'm keto adapted. So it's been 18, 19 days, something like that since the 13th of February. And I'm keto adapted and I'm walking into this round. The only thing that's against me right now are my blood sugars are a little bit too high, but I'm going to give it, give it my best shot. All right. I'm going to let you go. I will be in to see you tomorrow and let you know how my first load day is going. I, I've only had some nuts and a little bit of um, a drink, a juice drink, and I feel like I've loaded today. So I'm not sure how much bacon and eggs and sour cream and blah, blah, blah I'm going to have tomorrow, but I'm going to give it my best shot, get some really high fats in here. Um, have no desire to have ice cream or all that stuff, all that porn. Anyway, here you go. Talk to you later. Bye.